begin lying down. Come over to your side. And then slowly transition onto your back. Readjust until you're comfortable. Lying down on a soft surface or a yoga mat. Bring the feet wide apart, as wide as your mat, and the knees close together, tenting the legs. Arms by the side with the palms facing up to receive energy. Notice your breath. Become aware if you're breathing from the chest or from the abdomen. Observe if the breath is fast paced or slow. Observing without judgment. The next time you inhale, breathe in deeply to the base of the spine. Extend the breath. And as you exhale, release all the air out of your body. Inhale once again, deep breath, extending. Exhale slowly. On your next inhale, use the full capacity of your breath, breathing into the deepest part of the lungs. Exhale completely. Continue this slow and steady breath. As you breathe slowly and mindfully, you will turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, which is when the body is in rest and digest mode. This is where you can rest, heal, and restore balance. Stay aware of each inhale and exhale. Allow yourself to rest without thinking about the next posture. I will guide you when it's time to transition. This is a gentle and supportive practice. And you'll be holding these postures longer than in a traditional yoga class. Slowly heel toe the feet together. Bring one knee in towards your chest at a time. Stretch the lower spine. Hold around the knees or the shins, and you can hold still or sway side to side, massaging the sacrum. Soften both feet to the ground 
and readjust so now the bottoms of the feet are touching and the knees come apart in a butterfly pose or Supta Baddha Konasana. Extend the feet longer so that your legs are more in a diamond shape. You can also take the hands up overhead and create another diamond shape overhead to open the shoulders. Or you can place the arms by your side again with the palms facing up. In this posture, you'll have external rotation, opening from the hips. No force, only allowing gravity to do the work. This is a practice of passive healing. Allowing for space and time to rest and to open slowly. Breathe deeply and fully. Breathe with your whole body. combination of these long held poses and deeper breathing will turn on your relaxation response. And this will produce a feeling of calm and well-being. Caring for a newborn requires an enormous amount of energy. This restorative yoga practice will give you some time to re-energize and balance your mind and your body.
place the palms around the knees and bring the knees closer together. Walk the feet apart once again as wide as the mat and windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Release through the hips, right to left. Bring the arms overhead or out to the side, cactus arms or goalpost arms or even capital letter T arms to open the chest. You can also bring the arms back down by your hips with the palms facing up. Drop both knees over to the right side for a gentle twist. You're in that windshield wiper position, but both knees are facing to the right. And perhaps you take a look over the left shoulder to increase the sensation of the twist. This posture will help open the spine, which is often tense when caring for an infant, especially with lots of holding and feeding the back can become very tight. Allow this twist to open the spine. Consciously release tension in your muscles. Stay aware of when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. Bring the head back to center and the knees back to center. Pause for a moment. Drop over to the other side, both knees over to the left side. Still a gentle twist. And perhaps look over your right shoulder this time. Now, even in postnatal, you're still doing gentle twists until you know that your abdomen has completely healed after birth. For some, that takes a couple of months. For others, it could take up to six months or even a year. Stay mindful of twisting. Gentle twists.
This therapeutic practice will help relax your mind and body. As you transition to this new phase in your life, you may feel moments of stress. This practice will help reduce those levels of stress and anxiety. Slowly shift the bottoms of the feet back onto the mat or the floor, the knees back to center. And breathe here for a moment. Knees come back into the chest, apanasana, knees to chest pose, swaying side to side or holding still. Release through the spine. Bring the feet back onto the floor and extend the legs into Shavasana, the final posture for this practice. Arms by the side. You can also bring the arms further out and allow the feet to drop away naturally or they can internally rotate as well. It just depends what is natural in your hips. Adjust so that you're in a comfortable position resting on your back. Rest quietly. And 
let all tension melt off of your body. I will leave you here in Shavasana to continue to rest as long as is available to you. I thank you for sharing your practice with me and for allowing me to guide you. May you feel rested, restored, and balanced.